Hey everyone, it's another Three Minute Thursday and today's question comes from quite a lot of you actually. And I get an email all the time. How do I get rid of snails? So that we get them in, they come in on plants or you know they come, they can even come in fish poop. I've seen that happen where a fish just comes, it poops out a snail and uh, there you go, you got your snails. So the first thing is why do we want to get rid of them? Most people they think they just look ugly or they attribute them to be like slugs in a garden. And there's a lot of stuff on the internet that say snails eat plants. Now, in my opinion, that's not really true. Snails are detrivores. So what does that mean? They eat debris. And in our aquariums, we tend to have a lot of debris. It could be that um, plants are dying back, and that would be debris. It could be there's a lot of fish poop and things like that. So if we have a lot of fish poop, we have a lot of snail food. And when you have a lot of food for something, they tend to reproduce. And so if you say, I've got snails all over my glass, that's probably a sign there's a bunch of debris and it could be algae, fish poop, fish leaves, or fish leaves, plant leaves like we talked about. So general maintenance, that's one of the best ways to get rid of snails is gravel vac, scrape down some algae, keep your water parameters, feed a cleaner food. If you're feeding, let's say, shrimp pellets and now you can start feeding frozen blood worms, then uh, you might not have a problem at all. Like it might just be like there's no extra food left over and only the fish poop, and then now you have a thing where instead of having 5,000 snails, you have five adult snails. So the best way is clean tank or proper maintenance. That's the best way to get rid of snails. The next way would be something to eat it. Some of the best ones would be like a dwarf chain loach, possibly a pea puffer, uh, maybe yo-yo or clown loaches. They get pretty big though. You'd want to rehome them depending on the size of the aquarium. There's also liquid or chemical ways to do it copper but that also tends to take out uh, shrimp and things like that and it can get stained the silicone uh, but there's things had a snail flubendazole is another kind of a deworming product that will take care of uh, worms in your aquarium but also will kill snails long term it's not the fastest thing ever um, so those are the main ways but here's how I would how I would explain it to you don't try to get rid of snails try to limit the amount of snails. So instead of having 50 algae eaters in our aquarium, we only need one to keep the algae down, right? Same thing, instead of 500 snails, maybe we need 10 or one really big mystery snail or something like that. They're really good algae eaters. They tend to clean plants and they'll get into nooks and crannies that other fish wouldn't and where debris settles and they're gonna help you out with that. So hopefully that answers your question on how do I get rid of them? You can do it chemically, you can do it by keeping a clean tank, they will naturally recede by starving to death, uh, or you can do it with a fish, a fish will eat them. And if you're like me and you keep puffer fish, which I love, I like to grow a lot of snails so I can feed them to it. Maybe you have another aquarium that has snails and you go harvest them, feed them over there, and you have the perfect live food source. So uh, I encourage you, keep those snails, use them to your benefit, and move on.